हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम इन योर एस एस टी क्लास स्टूडेंट्स क्विकली टेक आउट यू एस एस टी बुक्स एंड टेक आउट चैप्टर नंबर टेन फॉरेस्ट इन इंडिया विच इज़ ऑन पेज नंबर सिक्सटी फोर स्टूडेंट्स द मीनिंग ऑफ फॉरेस्ट इज अ लार्ज एरिया कवर्ड विद ट्रीज एंड प्लांट्स एंड इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट फॉरेस्ट टाइप्स ऑफ फॉरेस्ट लाइक एवरग्रीन फॉरेस्ट डेसिडियस फॉरेस्ट थॉर्न फॉरेस्ट टाइडल फॉरेस्ट एंड माउंटेन फॉरेस्ट एंड वी विल ऑल्सो स्टडी अबाउट हाउ टू सेव ट्रीज एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ एंड एट द एंड ऑफ दिस चैप्टर वी विल स्टडी नेशनल पार्कस एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरीज इन इंडिया स्टूडेंट्स अ फॉरेस्ट इज अ पीस ऑफ लैंड विद मैनी ट्रीज मैनी एनिमल्स नीड फॉरेस्ट to live and survive forests are very important and grow in many places around the world they are an ecosystem which includes many plants and animals temperature and rainfall are the two most important things for forest students the importance of forests cannot be underestimated see we depend on forest for our survival from the air we breathe to the wood we use besides providing habitats for animals and livelihoods for humans forests also offer watershed protection prevent soil erosion and mitigate climate change and students forestry in india is a significant rural industry and a major environmental resource See India is one of the 10 most forest rich countries of the world. Forestry in India is more than just about wood and fuel. India has a thriving non-wood forest products industry which produces latex, gums, resins, essential oils, flavors, fragrances and aroma chemicals. See incense sticks handicrafts thatching materials and medicinal plants are also produced in the forest Let's have a look on terms related to today's topic our first term is forest a large area of land covered with trees and plants is called forest second natural vegetation trees and plants which are grown naturally without human help third evergreen forest the forest which remain green throughout the year fourth canopy umbrella like structure fifth deciduous forest these are the forest which shed their leaves completely once a year let's start reading forests from book a large area of land covered with trees and plants is called forest depending on the climate and soil these trees and plants grow on their own they are called natural vegetation this paragraph is describing about the forest and vegetation students a large area covered with trees and plants is called forest trees and plants grown in forests depend on the climate and soil of the forests students trees and plants produced naturally without human aid and have been left undisturbed for a period of long time by humans is known as natural vegetation let's start reading further forests are very important and useful to us they give us wood rubber gum cork resins medicines and pure air they control floods they are home to many animals and birds students this paragraph means that forests are very important and useful to us see we get lots of things from forest like wood rubber gum cork resins medicines and pure air forests also control floods and they are home to many animals and birds 
Students, the forests are classified on the basis of their nature, soil type and existing climatic conditions. In India, we have many types of forests like evergreen forest, deciduous forest, thorn forest, tidal forest and mountain forest. We will read these forests one by one. So let's start reading evergreen forests which is on page number 65. Evergreen forests. These forests are also known as tropical rain forests. They are found in places which have hot and wet climate. In India, these forests are found on the slopes of the western ghats, in the hills of northeastern states of India and in the Andaman and Nicobar islands. The trees in these evergreen forests do not shed leaves and so remain green throughout the year. They are tall, dense with broad leaves which form a kind of canopy. The trees here are hardwood trees like mahogany, rosewood, ebony. These forests have a thick undergrowth of plants and bushes. Students, the other name of evergreen forests is tropical rain forests. Evergreen forests are found in places which have hot and wet climate. In India, evergreen forests are found on the slopes of the western ghats, in the hills of northeastern states of India and in the Andaman and Nicobar islands. The trees in the evergreen forests do not shed their leaves and they remain green throughout the year. Students, the trees which are found here are tall, dense, dense means ghana, with broad leaves which form a kind of canopy. And the trees found here are mahogany, rosewood and ebony. Let's proceed further. Let's start reading deciduous forests. These forests are also known as monsoon forests. These types of forests are found on the wetter western side of the Deccan Plateau, the northeastern part of the Deccan Plateau and in the lower slopes of the Himalayas. Trees in these forests shed their leaves completely once a year during the dry season. Teaks, sal, shisham, sandalwood, mahua and bamboo are the trees found in these type of, types of forests in India. Students, the other name of deciduous forests is monsoon forests. And deciduous forests are found in the western side of the Deccan Plateau, the northeastern part of the Deccan Plateau and in the lower slopes of the Himalayas. The main feature of these forests is the trees shed their leaves in the dry season. Teak, sal, shisham, sandalwood, mahua and bamboo are the trees which are found here. So students, with this only we have completed today's topic. In today's class, we have done the introduction of forests, evergreen forests, deciduous forests, right? And now your homework is to read today's topic, revise terms, plus write them on copy. Thank you.